I would like for you all to take a journey with me as we talk about four elements of the collaboration principle. In this collaboration principle, it really helps us to determine how do we do better when it comes to collaborating. The first element of the collaboration principle is building trust. Trust is the foundation of so many relationships. Without trust, especially in a collaboration experience, it's very difficult to make sure that we are actually collaborating well. One of the greatest behaviors of building trust is vulnerability. Vulnerability says that it's okay if I make a mistake and not feel bad about it because I'm going to learn from it. It's okay if I say I'm sorry and not feel guilty. It's okay if I'm not perfect because I don't have to know everything and that helps me lead to mastery. Vulnerability is something that I know is very difficult for us to have, but it is so critical when it comes to trust. We are real human beings with emotions and thoughts and feelings, and we should bring our whole true selves to conversations, even in the workplace. The second element of the collaboration principle is seeking to understand. In Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, he talks about seek first to understand rather than to be understood. We first need to think about how do I understand what my collaborator is thinking and saying before I even suggest or make any recommendations based on my thoughts and feelings. I know that's really hard. That's something that I think we all have struggled with at some point. However, how much easier will it be if I can ask questions and determine what it is that my fellow collaborator needs so that helps me to gain a better understanding of his wants and needs or her wants and needs and we can come together into a more common and middle ground. We might actually find that we want the same thing. The greatest behavior that we can use when it comes to seeking to understand is listening intently. When we're able to listen intently, that means that we're removing distractions from our head and our environment so that we can stay present and in the moment so that we can offer our best thoughts and recommendations and bring so much to the table because we actually are able to understand exactly where our fellow collaborator is coming from. Our third element of the collaboration principle is communicate courageously. This one, I have to say, is one of my favorites. The reason why this one is one of my favorites is because if you think about it, how many times have you struggled with communicating something because we were afraid that we were going to hurt someone's feelings or we were afraid of how, what the response was going to be, or we were afraid of some type of conflict? A lot of times we don't ask for what we want or need because of some of those fears. One of my favorite sayings is that if you don't ask for what you want or need, then the answer is always no. Because if we don't ask for it, then it's probably going to be no. Because we haven't asked. So one of the greatest behaviors that you can practice when it comes to communicating courageously is responding rather than reacting. A lot of times when we go into collaborative situations, after we hear something, we might think more about how to react or reacting to it rather than respond. Responding means that we're going to pause, we're going to think about what this person said, and we're going to respond in a more thoughtful manner. This is going to help us have a more collaborative outcome. The last and final element of the four-step collaboration principle is gain a consensus. Once we have decided that we have built trust, we are going to seek to understand and we are going to communicate courageously, the final phase is gaining consensus. When we've done all of those things, it makes it so much easier to make sure that we are actually gaining consensus. And we get to that final collaborative opportunity where we're both on the same page. The best behavior to practice when it comes to gaining consensus is to actually write down possible outcomes. If I know exactly what I want, and you know exactly what you want, or you know exactly what your fellow collaborator wants, then that means that you have an opportunity to plan prior to, and it helps you come closer to the middle ground. 
which is exactly where you want to be. You want to be there because that's what feels great because you've actually started to work on a more collaborative experience. So gaining consensus helps you to have a plan prior to actually going into that last conversation with your fellow collaborator. Now, let's review. We talked about the four elements of the collaboration principle, which they were build trust, seek to understand, communicate courageously, and gain consensus.